We have a collection of amazing parenting resources over at LifeChurch slash parents. There you can find podcasts, join a Facebook group community, and get tips from parents, pastors, and experts who have all been there before. You'll also get advice from God's word and encouragement on your parenting journey. So head over to LifeChurch slash parents and get connected today. Hey families, I'm Gary and I'm so excited to have church with you. Now, I've got to tell you about this crazy dream I had the other night. So there I was, I was flying, me, just flying, no plane. I was flying in the sky, leaving my house and all of a sudden my mom says, honey, come down here, you got to put your helmet on. (sighs) Okay, I did. So I went down ever so gracefully and then I put my helmet on that looked so cool. And then I flew back up into the sky, flew all the way to church. When I took my helmet off, I had a mustache. Like we're talking full blown mustache. I could have connected it to my ear. It was awesome. And it made me wonder, what would you do if you woke up with a mustache? I think I would leave it. Yeah. All right, so that dream, it was a pretty great story. I love hearing about people's dreams. I love a good story. We all have great stories. And that reminds me of today's point. Use your story to give God glory. Now, let's jump into Connect. Here's Harper. Do you know what time it is? It's time for us to connect to God by singing and dancing to music. Sometimes I don't always feel like worshiping, but then I remember it's not about me or how I feel. It's about God. God deserves our worship and thanks all the time. So let's give it all we've got. Get up on your feet and let's connect to God together.
and I'm this and I'm now I'm living, I'm living out loud Jesus, let my life be your story We're singing, I don't care You're the one I want My life to celebrate Cause you gave life to me We're shouting, hey Living every day Living to praise your name Jesus, let my life Do we need an excuse to put up happy, happy balloons all over the place? You're jollier than usual. What's with the weird, huge smile? This is my everyday smile, and these are my everyday balloons. Okay. Oh, we got a postcard! Don't read it. Let's pretend everything is okay. Everything's happy, happy. Mike, whatever it is, we still have to help. <laughs> Dear Connect HQ, this is the worst summer ever. My best friend across the street is moving away to a different state. How can I get through this? From Haley. See, the card is such a bummer. I feel so bad that Haley's having a hard time. So I decided to smile extra hard to keep from feeling sad. I know it's gonna be hard for Haley to say goodbye to her friend, but pretending like everything's fine isn't the right response. I should know, I had to learn that. Oh, what do we do? Tell her to toughen up and move on? <laughs> No, we don't have to say that either. You know, this reminds me of a time recently when I went through something really tough. It was back when Luke was still here. Hey, Luke. Hey, Harper, are you wearing a mustache? No, I don't think. Oh, I guess I am. Somebody must have slapped it on my face when I wasn't looking. Oh, so I found a mustache on my face, that would completely ruin my day, but you don't seem bothered at all. It's not that big of a deal. Here, try it out. You know, this is a code violation 2864. You look like a grumpy dog catcher. <laughs> we 
Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Alyssa, and this is how I made it through a horrible day. Alyssa, I am so sorry. Would it be okay if I shared this with the rest of the team? Not yet. I need a little time to process before I let everyone know. I understand. Maybe you should take a little time. Okay. Alyssa isn't her usual bouncy self. Yeah, is everything okay? She just got some bad news. What is it? Well, she asked me not to share it just yet, but you can be praying for her while she's going through a hard time. Maybe we could think of a way to cheer up today. Yeah, that's a great idea, Harper. Yeah, I'm sure sharing some amazing stories about the memories that you guys have together would really help her out today. Oh, I can use your help with this too. Mm. Okay. Dear Connect HQ, some neighborhood kids of mine wanted me to throw rocks at windows, but I said I wouldn't. When they got caught throwing rocks at windows, they blamed it all on me. Now I'm grounded for three months. My parents are so angry at me. I didn't even do anything. This is horrible. What should I do, Troy and Pittsburgh? That isn't right. Troy shouldn't be punished for something that someone else did. It's a tough situation. I mean, he can't tell those neighborhood kids to tell the truth. Yeah, well, maybe we can find some links that'll help him to let him know that no matter what happens, good or bad, he can use his story to give God glory. Even a story like this? God can use any story, even the hard ones. I'll find a verse link to help Troy. Yeah, and I'll uh, look at a Bible link. Thank you for your hard work, team. You got it, Captain. <laughs> and remember that time whenever I made that ugly cake for your birthday and you still ate it? I ate way too much of that cake. Yeah. And what about the time when my grandma died? We stayed up till it was like 2 o'clock in the morning and you never told me that it was getting too late. You just stayed there with me. That was a great night. <laughs> Alyssa, you're my best friend and you're part of some of the best memories that I have. And it hurts me to see you hurting like this. You didn't tell everybody else, did you? No, of course not. But they want me to let you know that they're praying for you, no matter what. You can take all the time that you need. The rest of us are working on a problem. What's the problem? Well, there's this kid that's having a rough time at home. I think I know how he feels. I just want you to know that we're here for you, no matter what. Thanks. Hey, Alyssa, I uh, made you something. What is it? That is a coupon allowing you to break code violation 2864. Mm -hmm. Code violation 2864, no putting fake mustaches on people. That's right. Whenever you want, you can present this coupon. I will look the other way and you can put fake mustaches on whomever you want. Just uh, you know, be careful ripping them off. Thanks, Luke. I th thought uh, being able to put a fake mustache on someone might cheer you up. Not today. Today's a bad day. Lisa, I'm so sorry. For whatever you're going through, I am here if you need anything. Thanks. Oh, hey, Alyssa, you'd be the perfect person to help me with this. I don't know. We have this kid named Troy who got in trouble for something that he didn't do. We want to show him that God can use your bad experiences for His glory. But when I search the Bible app for bad days, not much comes up. Um, 
What about Romans 8, 28? That's perfect. What if we said it like this? Harper, I'm really not in the mood for verse motions. Maybe it'll help. It's worth a shot. Okay. Romans 8, 28. Romans 8, 28. In all things, God works for the good of those who love him. In all things, God works for the good of those who love him. Who have been called according to his purpose. Who have been called according to his purpose. So, no matter what we're going through, or no matter what has happened to us, God can always... Harper, you don't know. I don't think there's any way for God to use us for his glory with what's happening. What is happening, Alyssa? You can tell me. My parents are getting a divorce. And I'm so hurt and angry, but today is just horrible, or it's a horrible month, or a horrible life. I just don't know if it's ever gonna stop feeling horrible. God, I know you've led me through some really great times in my life, but this, this is tough. I don't know how you could use something like divorce for your glory. I need help, or at least someone that knows how I'm feeling. The Bible is full of amazing stories of people who are facing a hard time and then God using it for his glory, like Job and David and Peter. Actually, I think I found the perfect link to help Troy see how God uses our experience to tell our own amazing story. Hey, have you guys seen Alyssa? Uh, I saw her a while ago in the observatory. Hey, check it out. I think I found the Bible link. This is the story. is alive. Jacob had 12 sons, but he loved his son Joseph the most. He gave Joseph a special brightly colored coat. Joseph's brothers were jealous of him. They hated him. Joseph also had special dreams. In my dream, we were tying up bundles of wheat, he said, and your bundles bowed down to mine. Joseph's brothers hated him even more. Joseph had another dream. The sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowed down before me. His father and brothers grumbled. Are you saying you will rule over us? One day, Joseph's brothers were in the fields watching their sheep. They saw him coming to see them. They planned to kill him and put an end to all his dreams. It would be wrong to kill our brother, said Reuben. Let's throw him in this empty well. So they tore off Joseph's special coat and threw him into the well. Ishmaelite traders came by on their way to Egypt. Let's sell Joseph as a slave to the Ishmaelites, suggested Judah. So the brothers sold Joseph for 20 pieces of silver. The brothers dipped Joseph's coat in goat's blood and showed it to Jacob. My son is dead, he wept. Meanwhile, Joseph was taken to Egypt, but God was with Joseph. In Egypt, the Ishmaelites sold Joseph to Potiphar, one of Pharaoh's captains. God blessed Joseph and made him successful. Potiphar put Joseph in charge of his whole household. Joseph served Potiphar well, 
Potiphar's wife wanted Joseph to sin against God. Joseph refused, so she lied about him. Potiphar believed her, and Joseph was thrown into prison. In prison, Joseph met two of Pharaoh's servants. They each had dreams, and God showed Joseph their meaning. Joseph's explanations came true. The cupbearer was released, and the baker was hanged. Two years later, Pharaoh had two troubling dreams. The cupbearer remembered what Joseph had done for him and told Pharaoh. So Pharaoh sent for Joseph and told him his dreams. God showed Joseph the meaning of Pharaoh's dreams. For seven years, a lot of food will grow, said Joseph. So store up food because seven years of famine will follow. Pharaoh was impressed by Joseph's wisdom, so he put Joseph in charge of storing up all the food. Apart from Pharaoh, no one in Egypt was more powerful than Joseph. Joseph's brothers went to Egypt to buy food. They bowed before Joseph, but did not recognize him. When he saw that they had changed, he told them who he was. The brothers were terrified. You meant to harm me, Joseph said, but God used that for good. Bring all of our family to Egypt. We will have plenty to eat. Wow. Can you imagine being sold into slavery by your own brothers? I can't. And Potiphar's wife lied and had him thrown in prison. That's like Troy's problem. God used all of Joseph's awful experiences as a chance to grow Joseph's skills at leading others. Yeah. Every step, even the tough ones, led Joseph to be a mighty man of God. We found all of our links. Well, let's get started on a connection transmission for Troy. I'll catch up with you guys later. There's something I need to tell Alyssa. I know you probably want to be alone, but I wanted to say something. It might sound weird coming from a kid, but I know how you feel. Really? My parents got a divorce when I was six years old. I'm so sorry, Harper. Yeah, I don't remember everything that happened. They fought a lot, and I was angry at them because they couldn't stop yelling and love each other. I'm angry at my parents too. And it took a while to get over, but I did. And I can still see the ways that God used that story for His glory. He taught me a lot about forgiveness. It's tough. It is. But it won't always be this way. And you're not alone. <laughs> Thanks for saying something, Harper. <laughs> the Bible Link is the story of Joseph, the dreamer. Bible Link uploaded. The Point Link is use your story to give God glory. Point Link uploaded. I think Harper has the verse link. Where is she? Here I am. The verse link is Romans 8, 28. In all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. First link uploaded. And I think I've got the live it link. God will lead me through the good times and the bad, even when I'm faced with something like divorce. Live it link uploaded. Connection complete. Okay. I'm going to stand the transmission for Troy. Oh, I was hoping I could do it. I can relate, and I think it might help take my mind off things. Sure thing. Poor Alyssa. That's got to be tough. Hi, Troy. I'm Alyssa. We found these links for you. The Bible tells us this in Romans. Romans 8.28. In all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Sometimes it's easy to see how God is working, but when things are tough, 
sometimes it seems like there's no way that God could use those bad things to do something good in your life. Today, my friend Harper showed me that I can bring glory to God by using what I've been through. It also helped me remember that other people have been through really hard stuff too, and God heals it all and uses it all. What you're going through sounds tough, Troy. I'm sure you're hurt and angry, but no matter what, God is with you, and He knows who you were made to be. We have to learn how to praise God in the good times and the bad. Use your story to give God glory. I hope this helps. I'll be praying for you. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Lisa, I'm so sorry to hear about your parents. Thanks. But you know, there is something that would make me feel better. Mm. <clears throat> All right. <sighs> you kind of look like a sad uncle. That's actually kind of bumming me out, so. I'll take it off. Huh? So instead of pretending everything is okay and that it's not a big deal, I'll tell Hilly that God has a reason for our hard times. Every day I have to deal with the decision my parents made. But through it all, God is still working. He's there during all of the good days and all the bad ones. You're right. I'll write Hilly back and tell her that God is still faithful and send her our support. Actually, can I do it? I'd love to share my story with her, just like Harper did for me. That'd be great. It'll give me time to massage my face. All this fake smiling has worn out my mouth muscles. We will. We will. We will. Some days, everything is awesome. Some days seem like the worst days ever. Like when you lose something, or when it seems like no one will listen to you. When we trust and follow Jesus, we can have faith that God will take our bad experiences and use them for His glory. He is still in control. If you want to follow Jesus, you can make that decision today. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you'd like to make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your Connect Small Group leader before you leave. All right, let's say the ABCs together. A, admit. B, believe. C, choose. Awesome job. If you wanna follow Jesus right now, tell a parent or a leader you trust and pray with them. Then celebrate your new friendship with Jesus. Following Jesus lets God use us for His purpose. The verse we learned at Connect HQ talks about that. Let's say it together. Romans 8:28. In all things, God works for the good of those who love Him who have been called according to His purpose. That verse tells us that every part of our story is used by God, even the bad or hurtful things. It's hard to understand why bad things happen, but we can still trust God. So we're gonna make a puzzle together to show that every piece of our life fits together in God's plan. Looks like we have nine pieces here. As we share the pieces of our stories, the cards will flip and show a piece of the puzzle so we can guess it. But here's the catch. If there aren't enough people sharing, the pieces won't flip over. All right, share something big that you've been through, good or bad. Maybe for you, it's becoming a big brother or sister. Maybe it was that time that your parents got a divorce or when you lost someone that you loved. What if it was getting a pet? Oh, I think time's getting close. Keep on sharing and boom, we got the first piece. Uh, but I, I can't really tell what that puzzle is yet. Let's share some more things we've been through. 
starting a new school, moving to a new city. Maybe the first time you brought your friend to church. The first time that you earned money, like your own money. What about that first night that you stayed over at a friend's? So much fun. That one big roller coaster that you went on and you were scared, but you still did it anyway. Yes, it's getting close again. Come on, keep on sharing. Okay, okay, that piece helps a little bit. Maybe it's, maybe it's a frog that's surfing? Uh, oh, I got it. It's my grandmother's wig that she wears when she goes to church. Is that that weird booger that was hanging from my sister's nose when she had a school picture? We must have shared a lot of stories because another piece just flipped over. Bonus. Any guess yet for what it could be? Oh, that one time that my friend's corgi wore sunglasses. Bet that could be it. Let's see if we can get a double flip again. Share something awesome that you've been through. A mega trip to the zoo or the biggest, best birthday party that you've ever had. What about that time that you studied really hard and you got a good grade on your test? Or that one Christmas that you got that awesome gift that you've always wanted. The hours that you spent practicing and practicing and then you did it, you made the team. Come on, keep sharing your stories. We gotta have more. How about the adults in the room? Do you guys have any? These are all really good. Keep it coming. Ooh, remember that crazy hard level of the video game that you beat? No one believes you, but you did it and you know it. That one time that you tried the food that you thought you would hate, but then you ended up loving it. It's like your favorite now. Yes, we did it, double trouble. If you think you know what the picture is, shout it out. It's a porcupine riding on the sun with sunglasses. I'm gonna share part of my story and see if we can get another piece. So there was a moment in my life that was really scary, but really awesome at the same time. I'm sure you've had these moments, but I had my whole family move to another country. Yeah, we moved to Italy and we only had five suitcases. Can you imagine a whole family moving their whole lives with just five suitcases? But we went there and God showed himself faithful. It was awesome. Okay, okay, we're so close now. Only three more. Now share the three craziest things that you've been through. Maybe for years it was breaking a bone, learning to read or write. Maybe that day that you chose to follow Jesus. Maybe the first time you went on an airplane ride. Oh yeah, we pulled a triple and it's a picture of my friend Frank. Cool. Thanks for helping me finish the puzzle. It was kind of like our lives where every piece counts. If anything gets left out, our life would be incomplete. All of the pieces, good and bad, are used to give God glory. Let's spend some time talking to our family about things we shared today. How can God use every piece of your story for his glory? And how can you use your story to encourage others? Stay tuned for the cues and I'll see you guys later.